The preacher said God would never give more than I could handle on my own. But I don't know if I believe that to be true. Cause there've been some times when I've been all alone and wanted to give up, but you helped me stand. Yeah. God, He used you, shined right through you. Hi, y'all. Hi. Look at how um, I'm a midget compared to her. Oh, you're standing behind me. I'm a midget. <coughs> COVID! Day quill days, y'all. COVID. Short as a breath. What joy. Still gotta do woman stuff. Welcome back. Misty's Pleasures of Life and I'll get home cooking. Misty's Pleasures of Life and Good Home Cooking. We are making an easy, flavorful, delicious crock pot meal for fall. And it, it is blooper. Hash browns. A hash brown casserole, y'all. So y'all come on in with us. Y'all join us. And hopefully you'll like this recipe enough to try it out on your own. Why does it look like my mouth is going up like that? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get started, okay? We have COVID fever. All right, so I've been heating up my cast iron, y'all. And I have my festy fall ball lights lit up, and I'm hoping it's not taken away from the quality of the video. Y'all, let me know in the comments if my fall lights, the clear lights, are messing with the quality of the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is brown up our ground beef. I had some ground beef left over for previously. So I'm going to get that in there. And I'm just going to use my hand to break it up. I had a good amount, actually. A lot, y'all. Now you can wear gloves if you want to do this, but it doesn't bother me to touch raw meat. My hands are clean. Cast iron cooks ground beef so, so good. Well, what doesn't it cook good, right? Ground beef, chicken, pork, steak, whatever. Cast iron is the way to go. It is the way, y'all. Let me know again if that holiday lights is messing with my picture. And then I have just a pound right here of ground beef that we're going to add into that. A lot of people would say the amount I already had was perfect. I really didn't need to add any more. But this family likes a lot of beef in their gas brown casserole. So we are going to brown this up, like I said, and we are going to drain a lot of that fat away. Not all of it, because you're going to want some. Y'all don't forget to turn back your clocks. What, oh, what am I talking about? This video will already... I'm not going to have this video up. Um... I was thinking, you know, tonight you got to turn back your clocks an hour. You'll be getting an extra hour of sleep. But this video will be going up a couple days after that happens. So just just disregard that, y'all. Disregard. I don't want anybody being late for work. So let's just stir that up a little bit and let it get brown. All right, y'all. Y'all can see that's cooking up real good now. But you see all that fat? Now, I could, you know, 
get the more expensive cut ground beef, but what is the point in doing that when you can grain it yourself? You know? I mean, to me, it's a waste of money. When you can really easily drain this yourself. And the reason that you want to do this with your ground beef before you put it in your crock pot is because look at all the fat you would have if you didn't. All right, y'all. So I got my tongs. I've got my napkin. Let me get it open. So, take my tongs and my napkin. That's going to be a lot. It's going to totally saturate that napkin. This first one. Look at that. That is just craziness. So that your ground beef is not dry. But that little bit of fat is what I decided to keep. Okay, so we are going to take a bag of our shredded, a rod of shredded hash brown potatoes. This is your standard bag. Now, you want to take it out of your freezer and let it thaw out some, okay? Now, you can use a liner. I never use liners. I, I'm serious, y'all. In all the years I've been cooking, I've never used a liner in a crock pot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just dump these on in here. Yes, the whole bag, y'all. The whole bag. Now, y'all, I figured out the light issue. Thank goodness. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our chopped onion. This is half of a chopped onion. Half of a chopped yellow onion. My daughter's probably like, why don't you just do the whole onion, Mom? You know I like onion. Oh, yeah, because some people don't like as much onion as you do, Booga. Now we have two cans of the Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. Before we do that though, we're gonna bring our ground beef that we just we just ground. Ground. Blooper that we just browned. And that little bit of fat I left, we're gonna go ahead and dump that in here. Right now, we have a pack of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning mix. We we'll want to add that in. Y'all, all this is going to get mixed together, so don't worry. It's all going to get mixed together. We have our fresh garlic, and you want to do two heaping tablespoonfuls. One, 
too. And yes, I used my hand, y'all. On to that, we have our McCormick taco seasoning. And we are gonna do one tablespoon of that. And then we have our fire and smoke spicy Italian. And we wanna do one tablespoon of that as well. Then we have our two cans of the Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. We're gonna throw these on in there. And we have our bag of Kraft Sharp Cheddar. So we're going to take half of this and pour in. All right, now we're going to get all of this mixed together. And we're going to add some more cheese to the top. And you don't have to cook this long at all, y'all. Let me get a little napkin. Wipe off the messy parts. You basically, at this point, are cooking your potatoes. So we're gonna cover this and we're gonna cook it on high for three hours. And then I will show you all the end result. 